to the Seattle Police Department or to the government. August 30th, 2010, 412, 412 in the afternoon, Seattle Police Department, Ian Burke, murdered John T. Williams. To this day, there's talks, 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 no different in the last 600 years. I want some action done. This man used the laws to protect himself. The police union, the guild, Ted Buck, Dan Saddleberg, whoever they are, protected this man to let him free. I get messages, pictures sent to me that Burke is a cop in some other town. I don't care. What I care about is seeing justice, and I care about not seeing another family go through this. I lost my mother in this. I lost my sister in this. And nobody cared. I'm out there carving still every day. It has to be some way to change the laws to protect the people. The police talk about themselves, their their land, their laws, their ways. As for me, I think it's enough. I watch the news, I listen to it, I see more and more cop shootings, cop murders. What's even more disturbing is they get paid administrative leave so they can investigate if it was a justified shooting and not telling the truth that it was just plain murder of another human being. I ask people to rise. Get up, say something. If you get on a computer, text or email, or whatever, say something. What's it going to take before they get up? Before it comes to your home, to your family? My mother's last words before she died was, "How is he doing this?" And my sister died. After that, every not all the cops, but cops walk up. Hey, John, how are you? I'm not John. I'm Rick, his brother. I asked for peace. Prepare yourself for the games. Money thrown at you. The invitation squad. The union rules. Uh huh. We're the taxpayers. So are you. We're all footing the bill so they can get paid administrative leave while they decide if it was a justified kill. They don't look at the families. They don't see how they're doing. How many cemeteries are full of people there because a cop got away with it? It goes on all over the place. As for me, I'm sick of it. At my age, I'm going to die and seeing the last image of my brother getting shot to death by Ian Burke and he's walking free. I go to see the cemetery to see my brother, not go downtown Seattle to visit anymore. It has to stop.